Okay, this is my post work video regarding Alexander Povetkin and Vladimir Klitschko. At this point, you expect me to say congratulations to Vladimir Klitschko for a masterclass performance. Well, that's not going to happen in this video because, first of all, I did not find a masterclass performance, and secondly, I thought it was a disgrace of a fight. Um, this is for their heavyweight championship of the world, you know, to be numero uno. And my idea is, when I do prediction, I guess I've got to start taking into consideration the referee and the judges because this fight is a typical example of a referee not doing their job. Luis Pavon, 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 whatever his name is, is a bloody disgrace. And I'll tell you why. Vladimir Klitschko cannot fight on the inside this is clear to see everybody knows it all Vladimir does is grab and hold and grab and hold that's when he's up and close and lean on you okay that is giving a huge advantage huge advantage in a fight and if you've got a man who's always laying down laying on your back all the time that saps the strength out of you very very quickly that's got nothing to do with your stamina that's got nothing to do with your physical strength if you're a guy who's what, the Povet Kid 6'2", and you've got a guy who is 6'7", and a big 6'7 guy, and he's leaning on you every time. He holds you, leans on you, cuffs you up on the inside, sticks his elbows in, and, and, and basically does a whole load of things to his advantage. Um, and the referee is in there to protect you and to make sure that it's a fair fight. There was one point in the fight where Vladimir's throwing the left hook and throwing through the forearm as well. Um, and I'm not... Are moaning and complaining because like I said in my original video I expected Vladimir Klitschko to use the jab and bang and beat up Povetkin right but if you saw from round one Povetkin was trying to get inside and he was able to slip the jab Vladimir Klitschko's jab wasn't that great he was able to slip the jab and get inside pretty quickly the problem was the referee allowed Vladimir to fight his fight had the had the referee in that fight been a referee that was a lot more strict to Vladimir points would have been taken off because Vladimir can't do the same grab and punch, grab and hold. It would be interesting to see how that fight would have gone had Vladimir been un not allowed to hold a lot. I want to give you an example. I remember Frank Bruno in his fights where he would grab and hold and throw punches and hold. And then he tried to take that same style and went to America with it. And I remember Richard Steele. And every time Frank, stop holding Frank, stop holding, stop holding. All the time. And you know, he's like giving Frank like three warnings in within like the first round and for me the referee ruined that fight because I would like to see Povetkin when he got inside be allowed to get inside um, if people are going to sit here and argue with me about that's a boxing masterclass that sort of grabbing and holding uh, and ugly leaning down on fighters that's not a boxing masterclass I thought a boxing masterclass was when a guy use a jab Pop the jab, make you miss, make you pay, throw a right hand, you know, block your punches, you know, make you look bad, you know, you ring general sit moving around the ring. But you know But that was not a classic fight, that was not an interesting fight. And I just think that if if, if fights are gonna be like that in the future, then there's no you know, Vladimir will never get beat because the referees are always going to be in a position where he's going to allow him to grab and hold. I thought Povetkin fought fairly well. I think he did very well. And um, having seen Povetkin fight the way he does, you've got to give Chisora a better chance watching that because Derek uh, is more he's more constant pressure and he'll throw punches all the time, even when he's in cl close. And if I were Povetkin, when, when, when Vladimir was doing that to me, I'd punch him in his nuts. What are you doing? Punch him in his nuts. And rough him up. You have to rough up Vladimir Klitschko. You got to rough him up. And Povetkin did try, bless his heart. He did try to try and get inside and throw punches. And of course, when round seven, eight, and nine come, uh, Vladimir then, after sapping your energy and sapping your strength, leaning on you, you know, then the lack of head movement, and then Vladimir had to play into his own strength. Um, so I don't call it a boxing masterclass. I call it. Uh, Vladimir Klitschko and the referee versus Povetkin. That's what I call it because, sadly, um, 
I, I can't look at it as a masterclass. And, you know, it's fights like that that, that are pretty off-putting because that's not, for me, boxing. To me, that's not boxing. Grabbing up a man, I hold up a man all the time. I don't know. But, hey, everyone, everyone to their own. Uh, Vladimir Klitschko goes on and... Uh, I don't know. I think anybody now that fights for Vladimir Klitschko from this point onwards need to understand you're not going to get any help from a referee regardless if the fight's not even in your even if it's in your own backyard. Um, you've got to get in there from round one and once you get inside and you get on his chest, you get anywhere near his chest, work that body like a madman. You won't be a complete madman against Vladimir Klitschko. Work him. He's completely working. Don't give him a chance to breathe. You know, and even when the referee's holding you, hold you up, so punch him in his nuts, punch him up in his stomach. Because, and the other thing is, the referee was able to let Vladimir throw Povetkin around the ring. And the knockdowns, he actually gave him knockdowns, you know what, just give you knockdowns as well. I don't know, to, to that sort of stuff, just, it's just off-putting. And you can see why HBO really uh, have no interest in Vladimir Klitschko and Shetland in America. They showed him a game tonight and, sorry. Mr. Bashir, what can I say? Um, love you, man. You're like a brother to me, or like a like a like a uncle to me. But I, I, I can't be honest and look at you now and say that was a boxing masterclass. You've grabbing and holding is you know you know just make it into wrestling or MMA. I don't know. I I'm just cheesed off personally. You know, Vlad has done what he's had to do to win the fight. That's the main thing. But if that's the way our heavyweight champions are going to be then, you know, it's a sad state the division's in. I'm out.